Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is James Adala, and I'm here to present you with a mobile and web application that is designed to help make planning a much simpler and less commitment-focused way to go about your weekend and have fun. So, I present you with Treehouse. Treehouse is designed to help people branch out socially. It's a social network that is completely designed to bring back socializing. A lot of social networks have become relied, relying on living on the actual network as a lifestyle, and I want to bring back using it as a tool. So let me explain to you how it works. Let me paint a quick scenario for you. So, imagine it's five o'clock, and you just got out of work, and a coworker wants to join you for some food or a drink. Now, other coworkers from nearby companies and also friends may be downtown also, but it's hard to coordinate them to make sure that you're all in the same location. So, what if it was just as simple as when we were children? When we were children, we had our backyard. We had a centralized location. We had a treehouse. The treehouse was the area where everyone knew that they could show up in an open invitation format where they could come and just join in on the fun. Because that's really what public places and, and different events really want you to do. They want you to bring in your um, extended network. As we grew older, we became bound to our screens, our websites, our cell phones. And these have provided us with social networking tools, but these tools have become a way of just sharing everything. But it's not actually helping us become more social. Currently, when we make plans, we can text friends, but this is too small of a group. We're not really reaching our extended network. And then on other social networking sites, we're really stuck with friends that I don't even know if we can consider them most, of a, most of them friends. We just accept everyone. But when it comes time to make plans, these aren't really providing us with the tool that is necessary to really get out there and have the fun that we could potentially have. And when it comes time to make plans, it becomes this large, confusing mess and of all coordination of what time, what place, and it really takes away from living in the moment. So I realized this problem, but I also recognized it as an opportunity. I realized that Treehouse fits right in with the sharing aspect of social networks. Social networks are for sharing pictures and ideas and all different things that people are interested in. But there's no great tool currently to share your plans as an open invitation to all other people. So to get a proof of concept and to make sure that other people felt the same way, I interviewed over 100 people. And these people were asked how they currently make plans, what they use, which are all the same thing just I, as I explained before, texting and other social networks that really don't do the job, as well as the pains and gains that go along with it. So I realized that I had two sets of customers. There's the customers like you and I who want to find out what the best plans are and where everyone in our extended network is going to be, but also the local businesses who are around these people who want to say, hey, come to us. We have the best promotion tonight. We have the best facility for you to come to, and we want to promote ourselves directly to you. So with some designer helps, actually Harry is designing the mobile applications. Um, he just walked in. Um, this is the web application portion, but this is Treehouse. This is the interface that is three-fourths of the way completed. So you would easily just post where you're going to be attending with the optional details of your contact information, the time, and it's connected to Google Maps, so it will allow you to populate the exact location. You won't have to worry about the commitment and explaining where to go. All you have to say is where you are. So here's a few features that go along with it. The backyard, this is the place for your friends your neighbors actually within this app. And what happens is all their plans are explained there and you're allowed to make the choice without the sense of commitment to join or show interest. Now the forest is the large scheme of things. This is the place where um, the local businesses will show up and explain um, the actual events going on. Your profile will help you keep track of what you've been up to, your neighbors are your extended network, and your shouting is letting people know what you're up to. So for phase one, we want to approach college students. The college students within the state of Massachusetts and the state schools, there's over 200,000 students to reach. And in phase one, if we can gain funding for professional graphic design to make sure we don't have to license out any of the um, aspects of the application, trademarking and legal advice, expenses for the server and domain, which we have already covered so far, and promotional materials, we would be able to reach these people and potentially create a new social network for organizing planning much beyond what we have so far. So if you have any questions, thank you for your time.